Hey everybody, it's Craig here, Reviews for You. All right, yeah, so I'm about to go do some training on the motorcycle. So, um, but I wanted to get this video out pretty quick because there seems to be a lot of people that are just misconfused, or, or I'm not misconfused, misinformed or confused um, on actually how money works uh, when it comes to the movie industry. So, I'm gonna go through some movie math on Captain Marvel and give you a, a roundabout figure of what this thing actually needs to make in order to make a profit. It hasn't made a dime up until X point. So I'm going to show you exactly how that works. Um, and we're going to start right now. All right, so to date, uh, Captain Marvel has pulled in 594 million um, globally. Uh, it's pulled in 215 million um, domestically so far. This weekend right here is going to be the real telling weekend. All right, everybody's you know going over this big old 72% drop that it had on Monday. All right, so that's not really indicative of how the movie's going to fare, and I'll tell you why. Um, when you look at the 72% drop. Um, and you look at the Tuesday sales and the Wednesday sales and everything else, you also have to remember this is a spring release. It's not a summer release. So the majority of kids are still in school. And if this had been a summer release, you probably wouldn't have seen a big 72% drop. Now, I'm not going to say that this weekend is not going to be a huge drop because I honestly think it will be a huge drop. Uh, the average drop would be normally between 50 to 52%. I think we're going to see a bigger drop than that from Captain Marvel. Um, I'm not the only one that thinks we're going to see a bigger drop than that. Um, straight by the numbers is they're an excellent informative website. Um, and this is what they do. They actually work for the movie industry and, and they handle a lot of things for the movie industry, uh, as far as, uh, numbers, analytics, um, multiple things, um, marketing, you name it, they do it. So, um, Right now, according to how it's tracking with them, um, and I'm going to put this graph up for everybody to see. Um, right now, it, it shows where the, it shows the shaded area being, you know, where most movies would track um, or where they would fall, depending on how well the movie is actually going to do. And we see that Captain Marvel is at the very bottom uh, of this shaded area. Now, is that to say that it's not going to, you know, make a lot of money? Oh, it's. I mean. You know, the movie's going to produce a lot of money. Um, whether Disney's throwing money into tickets or not, I, I don't honestly know. I don't really put it past them. Um, you know, kind of is what it is. They could have taken another market and budget knowing they're going to get some of it back. Let's go through how money actually works in film because I had some comments on the last video. Um, and these, there are some people that just don't understand how movies work. All right. So, starting off. We have a reported budget, um, which the reported budget for the movie was $152 million. Um, there are some Hollywood reports that uh, come out and say it's more close to upwards of $200 million uh, as far as the budget for the movie itself. But for right now, I'm going to stick with $152 million, the lower number, um, because that's what is reported um, through a, a few other various websites, although we don't have the originals yet. Um, so normally on a movie, how this works is the marketing budget for the movie will be as much as the production budget, if not more, um, because you have to promote this. You have to do commercials. Um, you have to do, uh, promotional events. Um, you have to make promotion, promotional items for each and every theater. It opened in 4,300 and 4,310 theaters, you know, just domestically. Um, and, uh, you know, un. I didn't even tally how many it was opening globally, but I think from Box Office Mojo, just going off of memory here, was 212,000 theaters in, in China. Uh, it is going to open in Japan this weekend. We haven't got those numbers yet. Um, we'll get those numbers here shortly. So now how well it does in Japan, you know, really don't know. Uh, we know it's, it's really not producing as much in China as it was before, although it did do a decent amount. Now, so on their marketing budget, so we know they're going to have at least 152 million. Most estimates, according to um, 
uh, movie financialists are saying the budget is between 160 and 170 million as far as marketing goes. So we're going to take those two numbers and I'm going to go with the low number again. I'm going to give them benefit of the doubt on that and we're going to go. And so they have a total of $312 million invested in this property. Does that mean that if as soon as it hits $312 million at the box office, it's going to automatically break even? Absolutely not. Not even close because that's not how this works. So we're going to go, ho we're going to go over how this works right now. Um, now, the studio's cut is really depending on domestic or international. Um, Disney being a, an enormous company is obviously going to get a better percentage, um, but this is how it normally works. It normally works between 40 and 60% uh, domestically uh, return, which means the box office would keep, uh, your, your local movie theater would keep anywhere between 60 to 40%, um, and with the rest going back to um, Disney. Overseas is completely different. It's 20 to 40% would go to the actual uh, Disney and the rest would be kept by the movie theaters. So you have to look at your global, you know, your international sales and everything else. And normally they are between 20 and 40%. So you can do a rough average of just 50% between the two, uh, even though right now it's not doing that great domestically, internationally it's doing great, but you have to realize they're not pulling in as much money internationally because they're having to pay or they're not receiving as much money from the theaters. So, and the longer it's in theaters, the percentage for the studio actually drops. So openings, they get more money, and then the longer it stays in the movie theater, the more it drops down. So, uh, but you also have to look at distribution. Now, it is dis it's distributed by Buena Vista, which is another Disney company. You have to remember Disney owns about a third of every damn company in the freaking world. Um, so... It is owned by Disney, Buena Vista is, uh, which is the distributor for this film. It doesn't mean that the distributor still doesn't get any money because you can't have a business that doesn't make money. So they still have to pay Buena Vista in order to distribute this film. And a normal cut would be a 10% of the box office take. Now, sometimes that's a 10% net, sometimes it's a 10% gross. Um, it really all depends on how that's negotiated between the two different companies. So if you went out and made a movie and you wanted to get it in 4,000 theaters, you would have to find a distributor in order to get it out in 4,000 theaters and you'd have to pay them money in order to do it. Disney is the same way. Even though they own Blaine Vista, they still have to pay them money in order to distribute the film. Um, plus you have all the marketing tools and everything else that comes along with that. Um, uh, in, in other words, making copies of the film, getting it out, distributing it to each and every theater. There's 4,310 4, theaters. They have, you know, each one of them has to have a copy. You see where I'm going with this. Okay, so, so what this means is now we're not at 60%. Even if we go on the high side, we're still not at 60% with Disney. We're now down to 50% domestically, and we're from 40 to 30 uh, internationally. Because that 10% still comes from, you know, has to be paid to Buena Vista. Disney Company or not, makes no difference. They still have to make money. They're still providing a service. They still negotiate down. 10% is about the low start on what a distributor makes on a, on a film. So we're going with the low end of everything here to give this movie the, the, the most possible chance of making money. Which I'm sure it's going to make money. How much it's going to make, kind of undetermined right now. So... You also have to think of, is Disney going to produce, all right, so, so right now, we're at $312 million is what we're at, $312 million to make the movie. Is, is Disney going to give $312 million out of their own bank account in order to finance this movie? Absolutely not. They're going to do this with product placement. They're going to do this with individual investors. They're going to do this with overseas investors. They're going to do this with uh, financiers for movies. Um, I mean, there are whole corporations set aside just to finance movies. Of course, they want a return on their investment. An average return on their investment would be anywhere between 5 and 10%, depending on how much money they put in and what they negotiated in. So we're going to go with the low figure on that too, of 5%, um, which means, according to the numbers here, it's going to have to bring in and I'm a little off from the 750 million that was reported. So I have 717.6 million, but remember I went on the low side of everything. So I have 717.6 million as a break in, as a break even point. Now for seven, 717.6 million to be a break even point, 
that is a ton of money. And I just explained how we came to that number. Yes, of course, the actual production and the actual marketing would be between 312 and 400 million, um, but they don't get all that money. So I saw some comments the other day, oh, it's already, it already made $80 million. It has not already made $80 million. As of right now, it's about 200,000 uh, uh, or 250,000 from even breaking even. Um, do I see it slowing down? I actually do see it slowing down domestically. Internationally, I don't know yet because we don't get the international numbers yet. Um, and of course, this weekend is going to be a big tail anyway. Um, but that's how actual movie math actually works. And that's exactly how we come up to the number that we come up with. So when they said $750 million, that's probably about right. Uh, remember, I went on the low end of everything. So 717 is what I come up with. They come up with 750, could be closer to 800. You know, when you start getting into these big figures like this, it's really all in how they negotiate it and how much the investors expect back on their return. We know they have to pay the distributor. We know that the movie theater gets their cut. So that's how we come up with the big numbers. So um, for all you people out there that think that, yes, now it's done $500 million and the budget was 300 or the budget was 152 that it's making all this money. It's not even broke even yet, and I just explained how all that works. If you got any questions or comments, remember to place them down below. If you're a troll like on the last video, place your comment down below. I have absolutely no problem with explaining anything in any of these videos. And for the one that called me a white racist, said I looked like a white racist, just to inform you, I'm not, I'm not even white. Just to let you know, I'm actually Cherokee Indian. But keep it up there, Junior. I'm Craig. Reviews for you. Remember to like this video, subscribe, share, because now that we can actually get the real information out there, we can stop a bunch of people that think this thing is actually making a ton of money right now. Do I think it's going to make money? Absolutely. Do I think it's going to make a bit? Do I think it's going to hit a billion dollars? No, I'm really. I still honestly don't think so. Um, I see it slowing down a ton right now, according to the numbers, and I'm not the only one. I'm going to show you the graphs and everything else that I've already got copied. I'll put those up there along with the other statistics versus other movies that have come out in the same time of year. Um, and we'll just uh, see how this is going to play out. I'm Craig. Reviews for you. And I am out of here.